Hi, I'm Phil Anderson, and I'm running for United States Senate to represent Wisconsin. There are three themes to my campaign, peace, prosperity, and privacy. Three things that I want more of for me, and for you, and for uh, all American citizens. Today we're going to talk a little bit about prosperity. We're specifically going to talk more about health insurance and health care. Our health insurance situation and health care provision in the United States is completely out of control because the government is way too involved. Most Democrats, if not all Democrats, and many of you have probably, want to see Obamacare continue, the Affordable Care Act, which, to my mind, has been kind of a disaster for, uh, so far because insurance premiums have gone up, health care has become more restrictive, and people have not been able to keep their own doctor. Many of you out there are Republicans who hear your candidates say that it's time to repeal Obamacare, which is a good thing, but then replace it with something else. Danger, danger, danger. It does not need to be replaced by anything. Because what will happen is it will get replaced by a system that's just uh, more government intervention in what should be uh, an area that's not only very private, but can be handled for the most part by the free market. Let me tell you what I mean. I went to get my oil changed yesterday and paid a little bit less than $30 for the oil change. If I had to go through my auto insurance to get my oil changed, I guarantee, I guarantee you it would have cost at least three times that much and would have taken twice as long and I would have been restricted as to who I could see to get my oil changed. But it was a simple oil change. So... No big deal. Insurance didn't need to be involved. Later uh, yesterday, I went and got my hair cut. Maybe you didn't notice. Maybe you didn't notice. I don't know. But I got my hair cut yesterday. What if I had to go through my health insurance to get my hair cut? That seems kind of ridiculous. But right now, many procedures that we do that are very routine, getting simple tests, checkups, those sorts of things, involve our health insurance. And it doesn't need to. It makes it unnecessarily expensive. We have restrictions as to who we can see, and the records belong to the health insurance provider, the health care provider, and not us. It's really quite silly. It makes it more expensive, more laborious, and in the end, uh, we have less access to it. And for those people who have uh, uh, lower incomes and have uh, a difficult, uh, more of a difficult time having access to good health care, it makes it more expensive for them and for everyone. So what I propose is that we, at, at all, if at all possible, strip away health insurance from things that from healthcare, uh, healthcare uh, situations that don't need insurance, like routine checkups, uh, routine tests, those sorts of things, so that they can be less expensive and more easily accessible. More healthcare for less cost for more people. In fact, there are organizations that do this already. Subscription services like Atlas MD in Wichita, Kansas is one example, where they provide healthcare for a ton of people, quite, uh, quite inexpensive, and it's based on a subscription. So you pay $30, $50, $70 a month, depending on how many people are in your family, and you have access 24-7 to healthcare professionals. And then if there's some emergency, if there's any surgery required or something like that, then your insurance kicks in and you go to the emergency room. But you don't need the insurance that basically inflates the cost and decreases the access for those sorts of things. That's my proposal. That's the direction I'd like to take the country in terms of healthcare that will make it less expensive, more accessible, more accountable to you, and not have the government involved which, generally speaking, is corrupt and inefficient and skews the market. Thanks. We'll talk more about privacy tomorrow. Thanks.